Hello, Hello Internet. Internet! Friday is over. Let's do another video inside. Yes, good afternoon, good morning, good evening. We're in the time zone that is the Eurovision Song Contest. I'm Ewan Spence. I'm Charlene Wright. And I'm Samantha Ross. How's everybody doing? Doing pretty good today. Georgian party yesterday, of course, so little bit of a tender head. Just a little, and a little bit of a sleep in this morning, too. Mm. So what have we got lined up today, then, Sam? Oh, gosh, we've got interviews. We've got all the craziness out of the press center. We've got uh, talks with Greece, Finland. Uh, who else do we have today? Uh, well, we're going to have a look at the fan board, talk through the voting that is uh, going on here mm -hmm. uh, in the press center, sort of public vote uh, that we're doing there. Uh, we'll also pick up with Lithuania and Slovenia as well. But I think, what should we start with? Your choice, Charlene. Let's throw it to Greece. Hey there, ESCInsight.com readers. This is Samantha Ross, and we are here chatting with the Greek delegation. Uh, the girl's so nice, they named her twice. Eleftheria, Eleftheriou, how are you doing? Hello, how are you? Fantastic. I'm good. <laughs> uh, so you had your second set of rehearsals for Aphrodisiac. Yeah. How did it go? Uh, it goes really well. Yes, we have the second, re the second rehearsal today. Mm -hmm. And we changed some uh, visual and screens. And I think uh, today everything is perfect and uh, I'm excited for this. Oh, so good to hear it. Um, now, you actually came to fame in, in Greece and Cyprus through your participation on The X Factor, is that right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. When you tried out for The X Factor, did you ever imagine that it would lead you here? Of course, no. <laughs> Xbox, X Factor it was the, my first uh, step in the music company, actually. And uh, after that, now it's Eurovision, and uh, I could never imagine that uh, one day I would be a part of this uh, yeah. competition. Mm -hmm. And now I'm here, and I represent Greece. Yeah. It's an honor for me. And I'm excited for this. Yeah, it's it's really wonderful to see how it's all escalated since then. Now it's sort of a bit of a reunion. I uh, I see that in Cyprus, Evia Damu, who was in your season of the X Factor, is also here. Yeah. Have you talked about yes. about this at all? Yes, we talk. Uh, we talk with Ivy, mm -hmm. and uh, Cyprus is my homeland. Uh, anyway, of course, you're born I, am, there, yeah? I am. I am from Cyprus, and I lived in Greece the last years. Mm -hmm. And um, and uh, we hope that uh, we will do it well, both. Because we would both, of course, we want to pass the final. Of course. <laughs> well, we see. Excellent, excellent. So, what are your plans for? You actually had your birthday recently, yes. didn't you? Just a couple of days ago. Yes. Happy belated birthday. Thank you very much. So, so what were your plans for celebrating? What did you do to celebrate? Uh, I celebrated uh, on the airport. I had a birthday <laughs> flight. Uh. Uh, yeah, from um, Greece. When I start from Greece, we mm -hmm. celebrate the airports. Nice. We celebrate in the plane. And we celebrate when we arrived here in Baku. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, I had the best birthday in my life. Excellent. And it's, I hope it's uh, marked the start of a fantastic journey. A fantastic couple of weeks for you here in Baku. Yeah. Good luck to you. Thank you. All the best. We'll see you guys later. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sam, for that one. And let's go from the Mediterranean world of Greece up a little bit further north to Finland. Hello there, ESC Insight. You and Spence here, joined by Finland's entry for the 2012 Eurovision, Pernilla Carlson. Welcome to the show, Pernilla. Thank you. So, what are your impressions of Baku so far? Well, it's really clean here and uh, nice people and uh, w very warm. And uh, I saw the old city yesterday. It was very beautiful. And uh, yeah, they really worked on this Baku, this very nice city for the Eurovision. Now, now being f living in Finland, myself living in Scotland, you must have the same <laughs> problem as I have, which is it really is the land of fire, isn't it? With the heat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> How high have you got the air conditioning running in the hotel? <laughs> well, I can't get it that high because uh, my voice can, <coughs> you know, mm. too cold. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's very hot here. <laughs> so do you, I mean, there's a lot of rehearsal time. There's a lot of practice at Eurovision. You're in a very hot environment. What does that do to your voice? Do you have to do anything different to warm up to, mm. to make sure that you reach the best performance? Uh, yeah, of course I warm up like I do some voice rehearsals and uh, all that before I come here and uh, yeah that's uh, yeah that's something I suppose mm. every singer do, yeah. does but is there anything different that you're finding because of the weather in Baku no 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 I, I haven't no I don't think so oh, which is good I suppose <laughs> yeah, how are the rehearsals going uh, good uh, today we had a good rehearsal I was very happy after after the rehearsal and uh, I think everything is is soon is, is like in the package <laughs> what can you say I mean, 
Do you feel the pressure of Finland as a country on you when you're out on that stage? Or can you put all that to the back of your mind and just be yourself? Uh, what do you mean, Finland? Is like, the whole, all of Finland expecting uh, you to do very well? I don't know. Um, of course, I think some some does. But uh, I will do my best and more than that I can do. And uh, I... I my my goal is to 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 be happy when I go mm-hmm. off the stage that I made a good good entrance. Good job. So, hi, the the new Finnish national final what, that Wiley used to choose the song. Had you watched the previous national finals that Finland were running? Yeah. Would you prefer to run in the old format or in the format that happened now? Well, I think it's good to to do new new stuff. This 2012 now and everything is coming new stuff all, all the time and uh, I think it was a nice the UMK was a very very nice project mm-hmm. to, to to be to be in and yeah and, and the fact that you took a Swedish language song to victory in that national final mm-hmm. and have brought it here were you expecting to do as well as you did by singing in Swedish uh, of course I stood out with that I sang in a in in a, our second language that we have in Finland and uh, there were many songs in in English, as always. It's, yeah, I think it was a good thing to s- sing in Swedish. Mm-hmm. And was there any thought of changing the language when you brought the song to uh, your original itself? Well, of course we thought about it with my brother, but uh, it would have lost its meaning if mm-hmm. I would have changed this, the language to English. Okay. This, the song itself is quite personal to you and your brother. Yeah, isn't it? yeah, it is, uh, and. Uh, I couldn't sing this song in, in English because my mother is also a Swedish speaking Finn and so that's why it's in Swedish. What does she think of the song that was <laughs> for her and yeah. is now going out to the well, entire uh, world? I asked her about that and she said uh, that she is overwhelmed that everyone el- that so many people can li- now listen to her song. It's her song so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She, is she staying in Finland or is she coming uh, back? She's to coming the here now on Sunday. Yeah. So you have to get everything out of the way and clean the room before Sunday then. Yes. yes. <laughs> Well, we better leave you to that and all the rehearsals as thank well. Best of luck in the show. Oh, thank you so Enjoy much. Enjoy the journey because it's one of the best ones that a performer can have I will. throughout the whole of the time. You and Spencer ESE inside with Pernilla Carlson for Finland this year. Thank you very much, Ewan. You're welcome. That's very yeah, We just kind of just do the interviews back there, then we jump over into the rest of the press. And as you can see, it's starting to build up nowadays. I will spin around there later. But right now, I want you to introduce you all to this. This is the fan board. Uh, with the press centre voting up here, we can see all the countries. Now, the votes here are only of the members of the press. You can come up here uh, with, your, uh, with your badge. And uh, assuming that we get this right... This is just like tomorrow's world back home. Anyway, when that comes up, you can actually select 10 of your own countries for the voting. As you can see, amazingly, San Marino is not in last place in the same final one. Now it works. Now it works. Anyway, six digits uh, off the badge, uh, which in this case is, I'm not telling you, so you can all see it. I don't need to tell you. It's showing you up there. So anybody can come along and change my votes uh, after this one. There we go. I... As you can see, we've got lots of tech. Let's vote in a semi-final one. Uh, so we basically now can choose our 10 countries that we like. You know what? I'm always for the underdog. So let's just select the bottom 10 countries to give them a little bit of a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Just to give them a little bit of a hand there. And it makes no difference. <laughs> well, anyway, let's have a look at that. Semi-final one. Russia at the top. Greece. There's always a lot of press from Greece. That's not surprising. Romania coming third. Iceland coming fourth. Um, if this was to be translated into our final results, your break-off is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Your break-off is here. We'd lose Latvia, Austria. We'd lose Israel, which Yay. would be a shame. We'd lose Hungary, which would not be a shame for me. The board works again, uh, and, and everybody else are dropping down now. Can do the same for semi-final two as well. We'll take a keep a closer eye on that next week when we get through to the semi-finals. Uh, but now it's back to Sam, back to the interviews, and let's find out how she's getting on with Eva Boto for Slovenia. Hey there, Insight readers. This is Samantha Ross backstage at Eurovision 2012 with Slovenia's lovely Eva Bolto. How Hello. are you, dear? I'm great. I'm feeling great. So excited to be here. It's the, the first time I'm here, so yeah. I, I'm really looking forward to see the rest of the city. You just arrived then? Yeah. Uh, well, I arrived yesterday. Okay. So. so you had enough time to kind of get your, get yeah. your bearings. And yeah. 
and relax. Definitely. <laughs> Well, uh, you had your first rehearsal today. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about the experience of stepping on that massive stage for the first time, that huge stage? It's a huge stage. Oh, <laughs> my God. Uh, well, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, my God, it's so big. Mm -hmm. And I'm really excited. I, I can't wait to perform uh, in front of the audience. Yeah. And it will be the, the biggest experience for me. How does the experience compare to what it was like with the uh, Missia Eurovisia, mm -hmm. the the national final in Slovenia? Well, it was uh, it was three months, I think, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it it was um, well in the semi in the finals. I sang um, three songs, yeah, and um, they choose they choose they choose this one, yeah, uh, the audience and Julia. Um, um, I can't. The jury, the jury, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's amazing. Would that have been the song that you would have picked? Yeah, you probably would. yes. Oh, good. So everything aligned perfectly, yeah. and and well, uh, I also liked, uh, I also loved the uh, song Asisanyam, uh, the mm -hmm. dance version. Oh. It, it's amazing. Yeah, it's good. I've heard them. Yeah, very, very good. <laughs> Thank you. So, what are your plans for uh, for your time in Baku? What are, what kind of things do you want to see and do? And I'm going to see uh, the rest of the city. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we we will uh, uh, w we will go to some of the parties I think mm -hmm. uh, from other countries, and I, I'm really I really can't wait to to do that. Yeah, you are the youngest competitor. Yeah. you know, only 16 years old. Yeah. you know, you carry yourself with such grace and maturity <laughs> on stage, but you're Thank only you. 16. Yeah. How have you had to leave school? Have how have you been able to balance everything? Well, I will do the schoolwork in holidays. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'll have to sit down and open my book when uh, my friends will just hang around and mm. uh, be on the beach at the beach. Yeah, huh. sorry. What a mess. <laughs> but I'm sure. But, yeah. But I'm sure this could cause some amazing assignments yeah. for you know creative writing or yeah. something like that. You can yeah, write it's some it's amazing it's stories. amazing for me. <laughs> So, um, so what does the future hold for you? As you know, new singles, new albums. Yeah, what, I would like to dreams? to make an album uh, at the end of the year, mm -hmm. and I would really like to go to school in London, mm. uh, music school. Yeah, and this is my goal now. Oh, fantastic, fantastic! Yeah. Do you have any message that you'd like to to send to the readers and listeners at ESCinsight.com? <laughs> yeah. Vote for us. <laughs> <laughs> honesty, honesty. <I> love it. <laughs> no, um, uh, hello to everybody. Uh, at the first time, um, I'm really glad to be here, and I just can say, follow your dreams, and this is it. Yeah, and believe. And, yeah, and believe in yourself. Yeah. Like you said, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Congratulations with everything. I wish you all the best during Thank the you. second semifinal. Yeah. Good luck with everything. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank you. All right. Bye. As you can see today, we've been chock full of interviews here in the press centre, and that won't stop. We're actually going now from Slovenia over to Lithuania. Good evening, ESC Insight readers. This is Samantha Ross, and I am here with Lithuania's Donny Montel. How are yeah. you doing, Donny? I'm, I'm fine. I'm very good. Thank you. Excellent. You just got in. You had your first set of rehearsals at a pretty late night. How, yeah. uh, how did it go? Well, uh, my feelings is very simply, as uh, simple. Uh, I, I feel great, you know. The sound was really good for me. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it, and uh, the stage is kind of, it's kind of small uh, as I thought in the first time. Mm -hmm. But the background, the graphics, the the the, the LED and and so on was mm -hmm. really like pff, normal. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's yeah. really huge. Yeah, yeah. The way they're thinking. But I, I really up. right now I feel very comfortable and calm about the performance. Excellent, excellent. And you're going to be performing uh, basically last in the second semi-final. Yeah. How, how does it feel to be kind of wrapping up the show? How does it feel? You know, uh, I think number is uh, is not going to change uh, the main results, you know, mm -hmm. because I think if there's no song or performance, there's no one going to help you, you know. Oh. So uh, I think number 18, I think it's good. Mm -hmm. I think it's good. It's the last. So, so I'm not worrying about the number, you know. All right, all right. Now you've tried many, many times yes. to get to Eurovision over the past few years. Yes, uh, you know, running fast and best friends and all these other yeah, great songs yeah, that you yeah. had. What do you think was the magic formula that uh, that brought you to Eurovision today? Well, you know, one thing is my karma. I can say like that. <laughs> but uh, second thing, I think year after year, um, 
I was like take, taking things which I didn't ha uh, had uh, before, mm -hmm. before a year, you know, and uh, this year was like that I had enough practice to become a winner mm -hmm. in audition of Lithuania. So, uh, and you know, in myself inside, I felt very comfortable mm -hmm. that uh, right now, still I'm young, mm -hmm. but I have, I think, enough uh, like experience to go to the big stage. So, I know, I think I grow up year after year. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, um, what are your plans for while you're in Baku? Do you plan on exploring the area at all, or, or just hanging out at the Euro Club? What, what is your ideal Eurovision experience? No, the main thing, uh, the main goal is like to perform as good as I can. Mm. But um, without a uh, Eurovision, of course, uh, we were like uh, we just we, w we were watching like the Baku, the mm -hmm. city. It's very beautiful, you know. And um, of course, I, I, I wanted to rest. You know, the delegation, they I think they're not singing with me, right. so they can let themselves more to go to the city, to the night city, you know, and to spend <laughs> some time. This is uh, yeah, I our head of delegation. He's uh, having a great yeah, time back there. <laughs> he's looking for me. So uh, you know, my I think uh, I should more to rest, have a more have, have a more rest. Yeah, get a bit more zen and yeah, just yeah, relax. Yeah, yeah. And Do you have any messages that you'd like to share with our uh, with our viewers over at ESC? Of course, site? I'm saying you know, my dream is to be worldwide artist and I uh, and I'm just like uh, welcome you to visit uh, my site Donnie Montel watch me my songs and videos in the internet there's a lot of them so you just support me watch and if I like you vote for me Jess. all the best thank you okay. so much thank and, you uh, hopefully we'll see you in the final as well I hope so too all right thank you anytime thank you bye guys Welcome back to the Press Centre. As you can see, we've got a long day ahead of us, but we are working very hard to get more interviews, more news, and a lot more Terry in as well. We've got all sorts of stuff coming in. The semi-final rehearsals keep on rolling on, so we'll bring those to you as quickly as we can. The Press Centre itself is filling up journalists from all four corners of Europe, the rest of the world, uh, and one or two from Scotland as well, are now piling in. It's going to be jam-packed here. It is the largest, biggest, the world's favourite variety show, 125 million TV viewers, if you add it up very carefully in a special way. That's happening next week, 26th, 24th, and the 22nd of May for your final and your two semi-finals. The ESC Insight team are going to be carrying on and bringing you all the fun and games, both in the Video Insight, the audio, daily podcast, and articles and fun and games on the website, esceinsight.com. For now, it's time to say, stay classy, Baku. Stay classy.